you queer cats are tone setters The same reason my main legion are wrong wetters With long cheddar, mixed with lines written No time slipping, when we rhyme spitting Divine mission, since the house days G.A. Grandma left DJ Tanner outrage The South stays, about that Loretta clapping Lines balanced with Head on over to Spotify and all other streaming platforms to check out the No Mercy TV podcast. Yo, what's good, y'all? No Mercy, track New York shit, nomercytv.com. Man, man, oh man. Cortez versus Ace Amin. Now, this was on, damn, I'm forgetting what even the name of the event was. What was this? Uh, Super Fight. Super Fight. Cortez versus Ace Amin. Uh, Ace Amin was set to go down. And along the way, we get it uh, clear that it's going to be $5,000 on the line. Woo! Man. That's money to be battling for. You feel me? Whether or not uh, it really affects, you know, either of their pockets is one thing. But $5,000 is still a decent amount of money. Like, I could use $5,000 right now. You understand? But uh, it's $5,000 on the line. Here's the thing, right? And I'm doing this. I'm, I'm speaking from the perspective of being the league owner. Somebody who set up judge battles before. Shout out my brother Peso. We got a bunch of judge battles on the track, right? Now, what I'm going to say is this. The judges should never be selected by the platform. The way we do it is we get the artists together. We throw names out there. Both artists have to agree on the judges. If even one person... Seems if they even forget if they say no. If they seem hesitant with a with a specific person, we'll tell them straight up, yo, you hesitant. If you don't want them judging, say yes or no right now, and we can move on to the next thing. You understand? It's battle rap. It's a lot of people whose opinions respected in, in this community. It's more people that you can find to judge a battle. So I feel like that's one place where it kind of went wrong in terms of. Uh, it should have been completely up to the artist, and this probably should have been settled a lot further down the line. You understand? Now, uh, it was supposed to be, to my understanding, Minnesota Luke, Tony Bro, and the fan vote. Which, to me, I would have took the fan vote out of it. Take the fan vote out of it. Bring in somebody like uh, uh, Mickey Fax, or somebody else who... Um, the fan vote, no. Caffeine vote, no. Nah. I, I don't, I don't, I can't really trust that too much to, because battle rap gets to be a popularity contest sometimes. So you don't know how uh, the fan vote could be swayed. Then you also have other uh, battlers who already feel a type of way about other battlers being in the chat and influencing the votes and stuff like that. So these are all things you got to take into account when setting up a judge battle. Fan vote, no. No. No, no, no. Take the fan vote out. Me personally, if I hear about a judge battle going on and I hear that the fan vote is being used as one of the judges, I am getting on the phone with one of these battlers that I got a rapport with. Yo, tell them niggas take that fan vote out. No, fan vote cannot be trusted to be a judge in a judge battle. I'm sorry. Human people with respected opinions. That's just it. You feel me? I don't care how the fans feel about it. I don't care how anybody feels about it. These are these men putting their money on the line. It's a lot of money at stake. So you want people to be able to leave their money in the hands of people whose opinions are respected. 
common sense. You feel me? So I think it's it's a going forward. And this for all leagues. RBE, KOTD, URL. <laughs> I don't care if it's Black Ice, <laughs> Battle Academy, whatever. Let the battlers agree on the judges. I don't care how much back and forth is going to be. Let the battlers agree on the judges. Again, get the battlers in the group chat, group text, whatever, have a meeting. Have maybe about a good 10, 15 names and start throwing the names out there. And whoever both battlers agree are good judges. Or, look, have your list of 15 names. Send them to each of the battlers and ask them, who is a credible judge out of these battlers? Get the list they send to you, match them up, and whatever names they have in common, pick those guys as the judge. And that's just it. You can easily get three or five judges out of that. You feel me? So, uh, from that, we on to the battle. Now, I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I didn't catch the first round of the battle. I actually came in as soon as the second round was started, right? So, Cortez goes. I'm like, all right, it's a good round from Cortez. It's okay. It's cool. Second round, Ace goes. Ace beats Cortez in the second round. I'm like... Okay, now mind you, before I seen the battle, I had seen all of the 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 situ the friction going on with um Uncle Rod did it put out an interview. Uh did, uh somebody uh I guess Surf was congratulating Cortez on winning, whatever the case was. So going into this battle, we already know who won. We know that Cortez won, right? So I missed the first round. I'm seeing that ace. Won the second round. I'm like, okay. Mind you, I'm going into this with uh, the idea that Cortez won. So, okay. Cortez must have won the first round. Get to round three. Round three, both of them have slip-ups. Round three, they both have slip-ups. But Ace had the better round. Once you get to a point of, okay, both rounds, there's stumbles or chokes or whatever... Then it's like, okay, whose material was better? I thought Ace clearly got round three based off that. So I'm like, how did they give it to Cortez? And I rock with Cortez heavy. Cortez know that. You understand me and him? We, you know, we, we got a rapport. Chop it up every once in a while. Always, you know, saluting him on, you know, the work he's putting in. Even like his music. You understand? But... In terms of my own, you know, opinion on this battle, and I see a lot of people echoing the same sentiments. A lot of people feel like Ace was robbed. You understand? And I gotta agree. I gotta agree. Now, with the judges, you know, of course, it's Tony Bro, Minnesota Lucas, the fan vote. Tony Bro can't make it, or can't, you know, do his judging. So they bring in Stiz. Who is, I'm pretty sure, another person that the battlers probably didn't agree to be judging the battle. They wound up picking Cortez. You understand? And the look on Ace's face after it was over said it all. Feel me? Um, man. I was just, like, shocked. Because, again, it, it was announced that Cortez had won, you know, before we even seen the battle. So it's like, okay, we we going in here expecting to see three flawless Cortez rounds or whatever it is, and two and three, for me, just didn't do it. You understand? And I, I, I just felt like it's, it's just another one of those cases where, you know, Ace just got, you know, the unfair treatment. You know, but what I will say, right, the positive out of this when it comes to Ace is that, I see a lot of more people putting respect on his name. I see a lot of more people starting to get behind him. So I'm hoping this begins like the turnaround for Ace for people to really start respecting his development. Because let me tell you, material-wise, Ace is getting better. Ace is getting better as he goes along. 
a lot of people are uh trashing him for you know not having you know such good performances having stumbles etc etc but i also feel like as he goes along he's getting better like the gym's battle if anything should have been a, a real big sign of improvement for him you understand this performance in terms of material was another sign of him continuing to elevate so i feel like we're going to continue to get this level of elevation from ace I feel like he's finding his pocket in terms of how to deliver his material and stuff like that. He just has to get better with the preparation. But I do feel like in time, Ace is going to be really one of them killers. Like, he just has to continue, you know, developing his, uh, developing on his craft and fixing up his prep and everything. But, you know, you, you got guys that been here 10 years, 9 years, 8 years, and still can't get it together. And Ace is what, on year 2, year 3? And, you know still showing signs of improvement so you know I, I think ace really is going to have a good long lasting battle career you know as long as he just keeps focused but you know something like this i feel like because people down him so much and people try to uh throw the villain role at him i feel like something like this kind of shows that the fans when, when you really done been through like some 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 real like yo it, it, it's just like a a unfair situation this shows how the fans can turn around and eventually you know start to give you your props so it, it works in one way or another it's it, it costs five thousand dollars but think about it like this 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 what i this what i compare it to right how much does pr cost right when when the when the big artist has a whole bunch of bs going on and they have to get their image cleaned up and things of that nature might cost a little more than that so they, this was <laughs> this was a, essentially a five thousand dollar cleanup job for ace i mean you understand so you know I, I would hope that you know going forward he just takes this energy and just continues to you know put on for for the fans and the people who are now going to be supporting him and i, I want to see how this goes on the app i want to see how this goes on the app i want to see how the fans on the app are going to call this because if they call this the same way they did in the battle, yeah, it looks like it's, it'll look like Ace is going to win on the app, and he even won the fan votes. He won the fan votes uh, for rounds two and round three. I think um, three he might have blown Cortez out the water. I think round two he won um, the fan vote by like six hundred votes or something like that. So, you know, um, I, I really feel like personally this was a clear win for Ace. You feel me? So, you know, it's just unfortunate that it went like that, but you know. At the end of the day, you got to try to find the positives in these situations. You understand? So, you know, let's, let's see what happens from here, you know? So, let me know what y'all think. No mercy. Trap New York shit. No mercy TV.com. I'll highlight y'all soon. I'm out of here. Bye.